Greetings, greetings, so chai. Greetings. I am closing up this huge chapter in my life, as we all are. It's just not me, it's all of us. And I just wanted to come in today. And um, I came to this realization um, as I was going and getting me ice cream, um, driving back. Um, I'm, I took some time to take a break from this mundane job that I'm leaving um, in a week. And um, and it, I, I felt like my connection's been a little bit off lately. So I kind of went ghost and I'm just um, leaving, you know, just weeding through a lot of um, different things uh, in my life, as we all are, you know. Um, taking a break from a lot of things and um, reorganizing structure, having structure, which is great. So anyway, rant, rant to um, my way com coming back from getting my ice cream. I was like, spirit, why, why, why do I feel like my connection's a little, a little bit off? Like I'm not, re I don't feel like I'm receiving all the messages that I normally get. Um, and it's already springtime and you know, I just know how things go and I start, I, and spirit comes in with light language and the light language is like this and it, it make, it makes things so clear. It's clear, it's clear, it's remembrance. So there's different types of light language that I'm figuring out when I, that I, the messages when that, that come in. There's messages, there's light language messenger, like messages, mess, messages, and then there's light language healing um, frequencies that I channel through. And depending on um, what I'm needing and asking, and I do the light language channel, it comes in as um, it's a remembrance that's soothing and then it also clears uh, and then there's protection and um, and just and healing anywho so <laughs> I'm going through this right guys so um, I'm speaking light language it goes like this and then the channel comes through connecting back after I ground I said, Spirit, why do I feel so blocked? So, so lonely and lost. Not abandoned. Resting. They're like, you're, you're, you're not abandoned, you're resting. Never alone. This is a remembrance of my last, um, uh, this is a remembrance of the last job I left because I'm a week away from leaving this job. The last job I left was actually a year. I've been at this job for a year, was um, a year ago around the same time. And my phone wants to ring whenever, you know, I'm in a t tone, in a zone. So no, I dispel all that, that. So anyway, it's another cycle. It's the same cycle. And then as soon as I left that old um, job, I, I became activated and I elevated up in so much. So it's telling me, you know, it's like, hey, just be patient, be still within yourself. Wait, you're not abandoned or forgotten. You're you're just you're just resting, because once I quit that last job that I was unhappy at, and I knew I knew it was a big change, a shift of energy, literally activated clearing and activations happened the next. Actually, that night, that night it happened. So it just helped give me a little bit more clarity today. So um, I am moving. Um, there's a lot of stuff I'm leaving and not selling and I'm leaving it for my children and um, I've been in this mixed rut of, of what am I letting go of what am I selling what am I donating you know just just it's, that's keeping me blocked in the, the, the tangible in the the in the 3d of you know what the frick am I what what there's so much that needs to be done but not really and I'm just like stuck in sorting you know like this um the story of our life you know you get stuck in like you know am i happy at this job if i leave where would i go what you know um what if i don't like it as it's not going to be a great job the next job i go to what if the people are ridiculous and 
you know, all these different emotions and feelings when you're not happy in any situation and you decide to make a change, fear can kick in. And then you feel lost and lonely on top of the transition that you're going to be going through, right? <sighs> Cracking. So that's a lot of energy that's been coming through right now. And then it causes, it leads to frustration, unnecessary frustration, which your body starts feeling these, um, these emotions because by now, you know, it's already in your body and you're like, Ugh, pain, just, you know, anxiety, impatience, and just so much emotion that you're clearing through. So this right now, so for you all who are going through change and the process of change of a job, a relationship, relocating, um, any kind of movement, any movement, you guys may be or are going through the process of what I'm going through. If you're tuning in here, you guys are definitely going through some type of change because this is the connection. Um, so we just have to really be easy on ourselves, and sometimes we have to really take silence within our, 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 our being, like really take silence, not just speak it. Don't, don't, don't talk about it, be about it. Take time and sit on the couch. Lay down if you need to meditate. Do whatever. If you're tired, you just need to take time to silence your, your mind and just breathe and let, let the answers come to you. Um, and never feel like you're alone or that you've been abandoned by spirit guides or anything like that because that can sometimes come through. You, you get scared like, oh my God, the channels aren't coming in anymore. No, they're, they're here. They're accessible. But right now, you just need to take a break. You need to take a break, integrate. So even though you feel like the channel's not there, you are. Just make sure you're still grounding your energy and still being um, within truth, being authentic with your words, being impeccable with your actions. Um, so there's some, some something. And, um, and it, when, even now, when my phones ring, I get kind of annoyed, you know, because... Like it's always this job I realize has kept me from a lot of a lot of my own inner happiness, my own inner inner um, ascension, my process. Because when I'm at my most highest state of, of being in the daytime, or whenever I'm channeling through, um, a call comes. These distractions happen, and definite, and it could be even a hang up. So it's no such thing as a coincidence. Somebody, all that ringing. And then somebody hangs up when there's like 10 other recruiters here that could be answering the phones. You know what I mean? Or it's gonna somebody trying to call, somebody's calling in, I happen to get the call and they're wanting to talk about car warranties. <laughs> you know? So it's all a test. So know where you stand, ground your energy, smooth your aura, <laughs> know you're loved. Um, I've been kind of tired too. I've been really, really cracking. I looked at the Schumann resonance. So guys, check it out in this timeless now message. Whenever you get it, even if you get this message a year from now, check out the Schumann resonance in your in your, in your timeless now, and see if it reaches you when the sh I'm on my phone or I'd show you when the levels are at the highest high clearing, a lot of clearing energy. Um, that's why I've been feeling tired. And I've been feeling unloved. <laughs> Uh, I've been feeling like stretching. Sometimes we're not feeling motivated. We have and we have so much to do, and then we get hard on ourselves for not doing it because we're not feeling it. But know that divine timing is right. So things will get done when they're meant to be done, and everything that you're doing is meant to happen. Just be aware of what you're doing and see, find the reason, the reasoning, your own reasoning of like, of, of understanding your actions being alert, understanding your responses to people, your triggers. Like when my phone rings and I get, I used to be like, yes, it's gonna be somebody, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get them a job, blah, 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 you know, and I'd be excited. Now the energy has shifted. This isn't my job anymore. This, this is not my job anymore. My job has changed. The energy has shifted. I'm here to help heal and awaken and clear and bring, be that channel. Um, and it's been it's been a long time coming, and I knew it was. I just didn't have the balls to do it. <laughs> I 
and I say that with love. I didn't have the courage and the strength. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. It was not my divine timing. And now this is my divine timing. This is a time to take a stand. This is a time to be authentic. You know, all the training and the work, the inner healing that's been done, um, it's showing results now. So I'm not scared. I'm not frustrated. I'm excited. And anything that triggers me, I need to really handle it, like the phone ringing and stuff like that when it was going to be nobody. That's just the energies of what everyone's going through, the busyness that are keeping them from being in their full power. And that could be frustrating. And that's where I'm frustrated, not by who was on the other end of the phone while I'm channeling or when I'm, when I'm bringing in this channel. This is channel, my higher self, bringing it in. And then that happens. We need more focus, inner focus. You know, helping each other understand what the heck is going on. You know, why are we going through this stuff? What what are we why are we feeling this? You know, not and um I was talking to one of my friends and she was like, No one can really tell us exactly why we're feeling this this emotion, just that we're feeling these emotions. And we are, you know. But on on a wonderful note is the answers are all already in us. They're within us. If we have the question, we have the answer powerful huh <laughs> I love you guys so much <sighs> sending you sending you so much love love me back see you soon